Hey, what's up everyone, Ward Croson here, and today we're gonna to be going over how you can get recruited using Huddle, and we're gonna start the video right now. All right, so the reason I wanted to make this video was just because I recently talked to one of my friends. He's a Division One coach. I don't wanna go over the specific names or details or anything like that, uh, just because he asked me for that. But I do just wanna say that he is a Division One coach, so this isn't just my opinion on you know why these things are important. Uh, this is exactly what came out of his mouth and I just thought I'd make a video because I'm all about helping you guys out. So, you know, first thing I did is I went through and I looked at some of the top guys. All right, so I wanna go over a couple examples here. Here we have a high school sophomore and, you know, really good overall, looking at the numbers, you know, the highlights. You wanna be able to keep an updated highlight. I will say that, you know, I think the better thing that you could do is definitely pin a video right here. It's always good to have a good pin video, but you do wanna be updating your highlights very often. That's what they say is that you wanna be pretty up to date with whatever, you know, highlights that you have. You could do like a, a first four games or first four, or first six game that's really good. I do think it's important to have a bio just to put in whatever you have there that could help in, you know, just giving the colleges any type of information about you, right? I'm gonna go through and actually edit my profile so you can see this is my public profile. You don't necessarily need to add your, you know, parents, you know, information if you have, if you really want to, you can. Um, I wouldn't add your street address either. You know, I would just put in the phone number. Um, you know, I'd put in your Twitter handle, your height. You can kind of skew the weight a little bit. Here, let me go. This is actually more accurate, it's 185. You know, so I put in my bio, boom, boom. This was my last year, um, you know, at, at Valley College. Just when I played quarterback and um, receiver. So I have a lot of different stats here, right? It's a, kind of a different stat line. Uh, and then ch changing your photo should be pretty easy. I'm just going to real quickly add that in, you know, just because I want to show you guys how easy this is, right? And, and this is why it's a good idea to do is because, you know, really from a recruiter perspective, it's like, how seriously do you really take this if you don't have, you know, all this stuff handled, right? This is, a, uh, again, this is, didn't take me very long. Um, this was me back in the day. My neck's a little bit thicker. My head's a little bit different. This is when I actually, you know, played there. So now I have a profile picture, boom. Um, let's go back to, or yeah, I have all my athletic numbers filled out. So it looks clean, right? I'm gonna go back to here. It looks like a pretty clean overall profile, right? Now that I added in my picture, right? Now I'm gonna have a picture. I don't like this though. So let's go ahead and just clean out, clean that up real quick. I'm just gonna add in a background, right? I have my different positions, my team. I don't have a team anymore. All, all this is all kind of different now because I am older, you know, I'm graduated, obviously. So, you know, and it's easy to do this too, right? I, I went through a lot of guys and, you know, some of them didn't spend the time to update the cover photo. And it's not like that's the end of the world, right? It's not gonna be something that's going to, you know, make it so you're not gonna get recruited, but it is a small little thing that I think can make a difference in, you know, getting a little bit more interest here. All right, so now you can go and click here. Again, this is really easy. I just clicked on that background view and now I should be able to change up what I got in my background picture. Just gonna try to reposition a little bit. All right, that looks cool. I probably add in some stuff here, you know, whatever. I just wanted to, to add in something that's, that looks good for the background. And, and you know, cause here you can see, you know, this is like the, the standard background, right? Everything else I'd say looks really good. Add in the Twitter, the class, the weight, the height. I would say don't try to do too much, you know, skewing here you can be a little bit taller uh, i would definitely say you know if you're if you need to be a little bit more weight wise then i'd throw that in there um, but if you skew these numbers too much it's, it's pretty obvious i uh, will go to relief brown now he's a top running back you can see you know he doesn't have a ton of information here right i mean he's already recruited and and um committed to oklahoma but what he does have is he, he has a pinned highlight right his highlights there at the top we got CJ Brown here, another top recruit, way better overall. You know, it looks like he's committed to Oklahoma State. Love the picture. Again, he has the pinned highlights. He has all the, the jersey number, the positions. And when you're doing these highlights, guys, make sure that you go and you just circle yourself there. Um, that was a big thing that he told me, like, hey, make sure that all these guys, they circle, because we don't know who they are, right? Especially if they're like a lineman or a linebacker or something, we don't know which guy it is. So take the time, circle the person on there for every one of the highlights so then they can see it really easily. Also, you wanna add in all your stats here as much as you can. You know, you can see all this stuff, this is all great numbers. 
right? And here's another guy. See, uh, not a lot of, of information here. So again, if you're going through, and, and again, add in some about for you, right? He has his Twitter, but you know, say, you know, for me, I just put in some, you know, basic information about me. I, I added in some of my stats. And then, you know, I said, member of leadership club, participate in outreach programs, we'll get, you know, so if you have a job, put that type of stuff. If you're in, in any type of after school programs, anything that could help you in, you know, coaches being like, okay, I like this guy, right? It looks like he's a hardworking person, all that type of good stuff. So all that is, are, are gonna be important parts of helping you get, you know, recruited. These are all coaches that are looking for, you know, at the end of the day, it's a sales thing, right? It's the same type of thing when I'm going through and looking at, you know, my uh, YouTube channel, my Instagram. I just recently had somebody go through, look at my, my YouTube channel and give me some insight on what I could do to change. So I just made some changes on my YouTube and it made me think, man, this is great information that people could probably utilize on their huddles. So that's why I'm making this video is that it's, you know, it's a similar type of thing. You want to go and when somebody goes onto your page, it wants to really stand out, right? Here's an athlete that is a 2022, uh, has no highlights, right? He has all these, you know, sing single games. It looks like he might have a bit of senior highlight right here, but only has 16 views because it's not pinned to the top. So when you go onto this, it's like, does he even use this page? You know, it doesn't even look like some, in comparison to here, you know, you're looking at this and like, okay, this guy uses this page. It looks like, that. you know, now you're gonna be on this looking at it. So, you know, he's going to Oklahoma, right? Same type of thing here. He's going to Oklahoma State. Look at his page. It looks really good. Uh, this guy also has offers from Division One schools, right? Um, this guy doesn't, right? Doesn't look good. Only 730 views, right? Just not as many views, not as much interest. 3,600 views here, and these guys are both three stars, right? These guys are both three-star quarterbacks. I wanted to use quarterbacks, so I figured, you know, they would have potentially be more on top of this type of stuff, right? Look at how much more information he has. Much better done, right? He has actually a photo. He doesn't have the background, but he has a photo, so he has way more views, right? He just updated a, a highlight. So, you know, it's all about effort, right? Look at all these sophomore highlights, junior highlights, mid-season highlights. This is all great. Mid-season here, 244, boom, you know, and, and if you have, if you could put in, you know, some of your stats or something like that, just 23 touchdowns, right? Whatever stands out, you know, 2,500 yards as a, as a quarterback, you know, like I would, I would have his stats, you know, like I don't have very much, I, I know all this, but it'd be a good idea for him to put his stats in here as well somewhere. So then I know like, you know, he's been killing it. You know, he has, again, 25 touchdowns, five games in, six games in, whatever the case may be it would really be a beneficial way of making that so colleges are more interested in you. So again, I just want to give you guys a little bit more information for what you can do on your huddle profiles in order to help you get recruited. You know, these are all very, very simple things. They make it so easy on huddle to just edit your profile and go through and add in all the things that you need to add in in order to make it so colleges can go onto your page and see why. And, and it makes a difference. If you if you want to separate yourself, you got to do all the small things, right? All the little things correctly. Point being, add in all that information, make it so colleges have more of a reason to stay on your page. It's the same idea with YouTube. I want to have you guys have the opportunity to stay on the page for a longer period of time because I think that will help you in wanting to, you know, subscribe, take action on one of the programs, do whatever. It's the same thing for getting recruited, right? You want colleges to stay on your page for longer, be interested, want, want to be able to reach out to you, make it easy for them to reach out to you. That all makes a big difference when it comes to, you know, being able to get yourself to the next level. And that's what I want to help you guys do, not only from an athletic perspective, but also from an overall recruiting perspective. So hopefully this, got, this all makes sense to you. If it does, go ahead and click that thumbs up. Up, subscribe to the channel. Let me know if you have any questions, comments, or recommendations down below. We do have a lot of different programs that we offer you guys. Speed training, quarterback training, you know, we can improve your jumping. We have a 28-day free speed program. We have a free mechanics guide. We have a ton of stuff for you guys. Go ahead and check out the description down below in order to find out more about how we could help you in your overall performance and, you know, really take your game to the next level. And then also take action within this huddle stuff, right? This is obviously a free thing, but go and manage your huddle. It's really important. Uh, don't overlook it. Okay. Thanks for watching and we'll talk to you soon.